You know, I was just thinking, there aren't very many videos where people just do the stream of consciousness thing. It's more like people have subjects that they talk about and they want money and attention and stuff. I don't like that. I don't like money or attention. Um, and I'm not attractive. And I know I'm not attractive. Like, I think about that, like how I've gone out of my way to make myself unattractive. And it's like I this is one thing that annoys me though about getting old, is that you have chin flap, and it's terrible. <laughs> That's like the only thing I'm self-conscious about. I'm not self-conscious about my... that. <laughs> I'm not self-conscious about my gray hair. Maybe I'm a little self-conscious about my, my varicose veins, you know, just a little bit. But hey, man, I still don't have cellulite, and my titties are perky as fuck, okay? So, that's awesome. Most women can't say that, especially women my age. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird, like, being in my 30s, because I feel, in certain ways, like, I feel so much older, and in other ways, I feel so much younger. So... I know that age is just a number, right? That's what everybody says, but... Huh. I feel a lot more youthful, though. And I think that has everything to do with Jesus Christ. Because... He allowed me to hate this world. He allowed me to... be... a force to be reckoned with. You know? Because, like... I feel like I was already that way, but it just makes more sense to be that way for him. You know, because I'm naturally a very free spirit, and with being a free spirit, you can be really reckless and irresponsible and self-destructive, and I was that way for a long, long time. Uh, so, it's really nice to be, uh, let's see turn that up a little bit. This be like Echo. Echo was the name of their drum machine. The Bunny Men. That's all the um, other people in their band that play instruments. Ian McCullough's got such an authentic voice. Like, I can't even mimic it. I was trying to earlier, and I couldn't do it. But I can mimic Amy Winehouse. And the reason I can mimic Amy Winehouse is because I realized this recently. She sounds almost identical to Sarah Vaughn in so many ways. She's like a more ghetto version of Sarah Vaughn, which is funny because Sarah Vaughn is black. And Amy's just some crazy white bitch with a severe drinking problem. But amongst many other problems, but she seemed like a real sweetheart and she had actual talent. And her music was fun. You know? It wasn't just... good to listen to. Like, there was a certain attitude and a spunk to it. Like, she was sort of like, I don't know, like, punk jazz or something like that. Like, a mix of a lot of different genres. And that in itself was authentic. Like, it's awesome when, when a musician or a band can mixed genres like that. I guess that's what I'm trying to do with what I what I do on stage, but I just hope it's interesting. I feel like there's nothing worse in life 
than being boring. God, I sound like that fucking bitch in American Beauty. There's nothing worse in life than being ordinary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there is some truth to that, you know? It's like, that's, that's boring, it's basic, it's lame. It's like what everybody does, you know? And I realized, like, with myself, like, as an artist, you know, I'm going to do something that nobody else is going to do. Like, we kind of have this obligation to do that. That's why I can't have babies. Maybe I will eventually, but it's like, I can't be with a man. Because a man will fucking distract me from doing my fucking art. I don't... I don't think that people get that, man. Because especially now, like, there's such a... A shortage of actual art. By actual artists that don't give a fuck about making actual money. I mean... I'd rather work through the barter system, you know? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's prepare for that that inevitable future, okay? Because <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to that shit. I like these weird-ass angles. I know that I need to like, go inside and take a shower but I don't want to do it. But I'm going to church tomorrow, and I want to look good. Oh, God doesn't care about that. He definitely doesn't care on a Wednesday. I think he cares a lot more on a Sunday. Because you're taking his son's blood and his body and cleansing yourself of sins and being filled with the Holy Spirit. So yeah, you should dress up for that occasion. It means a lot to take his blood too, because we're not supposed to do anything with blood, because it's, it's a sacrifice. You know, so when Jesus was slain for us. Before that happened, you know, he said, eat this in remembrance of me. Okay? So, sorry. I was just thinking about that. I'm just like, I'm at church now, you guys. I'm sorry, I got lost. <laughs> that happens all the time. We just start disassociating. It's fantastic, though. Don't let anybody fool you. Disassociation is the dream. Okay? <laughs> it really is. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, I really understand the Holy Eucharist and the whole purpose of it. Oh, yeah, I said it's an occasion, taking his blood. And it's also... really important because there's no need for animal sacrifices anymore. And we're going to take in Jesus' blood. We're not going to take in the blood of anybody else. I mean, that's fucked up anyway, and that's like, you know, pagan shit. But, <sighs> man, I kind of wish that the Divine Liturgy was on Wednesdays. It's unfortunate that it's not, but, you know, I don't make the rules. I'm still a woman. <laughs>